Okay, this is Intermediate Macroeconomics Selection 1. We can give a number to the, our first paper, which is 1. So if we need to, uh, to see again this paper, we can uh, recall this uh, paper. Uh, today I'm Paolo Canofari and I will show you the uh, mathematical uh, how we can get the flip Philip curve. Starting from uh, the aggregate, the standard aggregate supply, which is PT, so the level of prices fixed by firms, equal to 1 plus me, where me is the markup um, of firms, of uh, markup firms needs to uh, need to, uh, to get because we assume there is not perfect competition market times the real wage W which is a function of Z and U where Z is the uh, power of worker in setting prices in setting wages and U is an, um, the unemployment rate we know that if there is an increase in the unemployment rate the real wage um, the, 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 the real wage workers can, uh, can uh, obtain decreases and if there is an increase in the uh, market power in the power of workers or uh, unions the, the, um, the real wage um, tends to uh, increase the final factor will be the expectation of prices in uh, uh, for time t. So in times t minus one, when uh, when uh, workers or trade unions uh, fix uh, uh, workers uh, advance uh, their expectation for prices. Uh, at time t, because uh, the um, uh, wage contract uh, lasts for one period, for instance. Um, me, the markup, the markup or, um, imposed by firms increase the level of price. Now, starting from this aggregate supply formulation, we can um, derive the Phillips curve. Dividing and multiplying by the level of price at time t minus 1, so p t minus 1, we can rewrite this in the following way. 1 plus pi t divided by 1 plus pi t e equal to 1 plus me which multiplies the real wage where pi t is the, is the inflation, the actual inflation rate and it is the expected inflation rate We can approximate this ratio, so in particular 1 plus pi t divided by 1 plus pi t e can be approximated as 1 plus pi t minus pi t e, the expectation of uh, inflation at time t. If we multiply, in order to uh, explain how we can approximate this ratio, it is enough to multiply this by the denominator of this ratio, so 1 plus pi t e, because we get, in this case, 1 plus pi t minus pi t e plus pi e plus pi t 
pi t e minus pi t e square let this this is zero and these two terms this is square okay, are um, goes to zero because if uh, uh, the uh, rate of inflation or the expectation of the rate of inflation is close to zero these two uh, elements are more are closer to zero so, for instance, if if the if pi t pi e t is equal to 0 0.03 3 percent pi t e square will be closer to zero than this number because we uh, we have to the power of two. So we can also to uh, establish that these elements are equal to zero and we can approximate this ratio by this form so now we can write this one in the following way one pi plus pi t minus pi t e equal to one plus me which multiplies sorry here we are w because this is a function of z and u so 1 plus me which multiply w of z u which is the real wage now we need to uh, give some uh, explicit form uh, to this, uh, this uh, implicit function so we can write the real wage z u real wage z, 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 um, workers can uh, ask in the uh, job market as equal to uh, for instance uh, 1 plus z minus alpha u t so it's positive linked with the uh, workers powers and negative linked to the uh, unemployment rate now what we can do we can write, rewrite our um, equation as one is number two is better number two one plus pi t the actual rate of inflation actual inflation rate plus pi t e the expected inflation rate to be equal to 1 plus me which multiplies the real wage which can be written according to our linear formulation which is 1 plus zeta, zeta minus alpha ut the unemployment rate now we can write this uh, in terms of the modern formulation of the Phillips curves which is pi t equal to pi t e minus 1 we can multiply these two things and we get plus 1 plus zeta zeta minus alpha u t plus me plus me z minus alpha me ut I hope it's possible to read yes minus 1 plus 1 here we have zeta zeta minus alpha ut me these two terms goes to 0 are closer to 0 because we have me and z we can assume the uh, this is equal to zero and also uh, uh, alpha me alpha me uh, ut maybe it's closer to zero 
So we can write our Philips goal as by it is the actual inflation rate equal to the expected the inflation rate expecting the, the expected inflation rate uh, plus mi plus z minus alpha ut and this is the model formulation for uh, the, the so called Philips Q, in which we have an increase in inflation if there is an increase in expected inflation by uh, the expectation of the workers' expectation about inflation, because if they increase their expectation, they tend to uh, ask, uh, uh, I either uh, wage and so they increase inflation if we have an increase in the unemployment rate the inflation rate tends to decrease because the real wage tends to decrease me and Z increase uh, the level of inflation so for instance me the level of competition in the market tends to uh, increase the level of, uh, of inflation. So if we have an either me, this means low level of competition, we can consider two countries. If we consider two countries, for instance UK or Italy, in UK there is uh, more there is an either level of competition and uh, if uh, we Consider at the same level of unemployment rate in Italy, uh, the inflation rate will be higher than in the in UK because the level of competition is lower in Italy than in, uh, in England. The same if we consider the effect of Z, the power of uh, the workers' power. So if uh, trade union uh, in our tends to increase their, the, the, the real wage to uh, their power, the inflation rate also tends to increase. This is the modern formulation of the Philips curve.